get ready with me to go to a Rangers game. I've never been to any ice hockey game, so I'm really excited for this. I feel like I have not had a second to sit down and catch up with you guys, so that's what we're gonna do today. Also, my lips are still a little bruised, so I've been putting some foundation on top of them. And for those asking, I am so happy with the way my lips look after getting them dissolved. I think there's still a little filler in there, which I'm not mad about. I wanna catch up with you guys about my runway debut in Milan and Paris for Fashion Week. It was so so incredibly fun and exhilarating. I truly love walking runways and it's so fun. I just, I'm so happy. So for those of you who don't know, I walked the GCDS runway and also the Christian Cohen runway. I am so incredibly grateful that I had the opportunity to walk those two shows. It was literally a dream of mine since I've been a child to walk runways. And to have my runway debut in Milan at the GCDS show is mind-blowing. I'm sure you guys have seen a big shift in my content, more natural girl era. There are so many people who are like, see, I told you her technique sucked and it didn't work. And that's just not the reason that I stopped doing it. People are allowed to switch up the way they do things and their techniques and try new things. You're not held down to one thing for the rest of your life. My technique absolutely works for full glam and I love it for full glam, but as you guys have been seeing, I've been wearing more natural makeup recently. It's fun to switch things up and learn different types of ways to do your makeup. Don't ever feel like you're stuck or put in a box. You can do whatever you wanna do. I don't know if many of you know, but I have such a love for fashion. Before TikTok, it was literally all that I wanted to do. So I'm loving this new era of fashion and beauty. Adding a few little fake freckles. Here's the final look. We're going more natural tonight. Make sure to go tune in to my outfit video. Love you guys. Get ready with me to go run some errands. My Halloween party is in two days and I have so much to do. I'm also gonna be having four girls stay with me at my apartment, which is gonna be a lot of people. This is my second annual Halloween party. I am so excited. The aesthetic is gonna be very chic and modern, so I can't wait to show you guys. This milk makeup powder has been in my rotation for months now and I'm obsessed. I mean, look at that. Honestly, you guys, I think T-Swift and Travis Kelsey are gonna be the costumes of the year. Honestly, that's iconic for them. Sly. Are you kidding me? Look at how good my Morphe X Meredith brow gel is. Can anyone guess what I'm being for Halloween this year? I don't know if you guys are gonna guess. I'm literally just running errands, so I'm just gonna curl my lashes, no mascara. You guys know me and my lip. I always need a lip to complete my look. Adding a little gloss on top. That's the final look. I'm ready to go run some errands. Get ready with me, Halloween edition. I wanna show you guys some super fun but easy Halloween looks. Halloween can be so stressful when invites come in last minute. Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour skin tint, amazing. Maybelline Fit Me Blush, I think I'm gonna do a cute little cheetah look today. Maybelline Master Chrome shade Molten Gold, look at how amazing that is. Fitty Bronzer, I use shade 100, it gives a really nice like healthy glow. Brows I always struggle with, I'm using the Maybelline Express Brow and it makes them so easy. What is everyone most excited for this Halloween? These are the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Liner Pencils and I'm just gonna create some colored circles to start the cheetah look. I love that there's so many fun shades. Oh my god, I love the shade Navy Bling. I'm outlining these with the Tattoo Studio Ink Pen. Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks. I love this purple one. This is shade Euphoric. It is definitely giving Halloween. Girl, girl, girl. Let's do a little mascara. This is the Maybelline Falsies Surreal Mascara. Okay, you guys, I changed my mind about the lip. I just feel like this one is giving more cheetah. Okay, I'm obsessed. I love this look. These liners have 36 hour wear, so these are perfect for Halloween. Love you guys. Get unready with me, Halloween edition. This Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, the waterproof one, gets everything off your face. I use these little Micellar Cleansing Eco Pads. They work so good. I just put a little bit onto the pad like this. Watch this. Are you kidding me? This micellar cleansing water has no oil, no fragrance, and no alcohol, which is so great for sensitive skin. This is honestly great for all skin types. Look at how easily that just came off. What I love about this is it's gentle, but also very powerful. This took me max three minutes to take all of that makeup off my face. If you're looking for something to take all your makeup off for Halloween, you guys need this. Love you guys. Get ready with me to go to Heidi Klum's Halloween party. Okay, let's be honest, I'm not feeling the best, but I kind of have a problem with allowing myself to relax. 
I also had an allergic reaction yesterday to something. I don't know what, and my whole face blew up. I've been resting in bed all day today, so I don't know. I was having FOMO. By the way, happy Halloween, you guys. I didn't even tell you guys what I'm being. We're transforming ourselves into Betty Boop. Betty Boop is an icon. I mean, she's just adorable. I literally also canceled my hair guy for tonight because I swore I wasn't going to go out. So I somehow have to figure out how to put this wig on my head. Oh my god, I forgot I have to glue down my eyebrows and cover them. We need to take this off. My Betty Boop costume I ordered literally a week ago never came. So my boyfriend's literally a saint and he's at Victoria's Secret finding me some red outfit to wear. We have one option here. Please do not come for me. This is my last resort. I have no idea in the world what I'm doing. Sometimes we gotta work with what we got. That did not work. Oh my god. This is crazy, go to part two. If you wanna see the drama of how I just got my eyebrows to disappear, go to part one. Otherwise, welcome to part two of getting ready with me for Heidi Klum's Halloween party. I just know I'm gonna F these brows up. Absolutely not, what is that? I need to redo this side. All right, that's all I got for my brows. Morphe X Meredith 35 pan, you know the vibe. Shade Concrete Jungle, super rough draft, then we blend, blend, blend. Good thing there's no rules in makeup because I don't know what I'm doing right now. Little glitter glue. Morphe X Meredith 9 Pan Shade Double Dip. I was literally taking my dogs for a walk at 3.30 in the afternoon today and there were so many babies trick-or-treating. You kind of forget that babies literally go to bed at like 5 p.m. I really did not want my liner this thick and it's bothering me so much. I hate having hooded eyes. Oh, I always hate messing up eyeliner because it's so hard to fix. This is the Earth's karma for me going out when I should be resting. Last time, you guys, I'm literally hearing an ambulance go by every five seconds. Please be safe tonight. Okay, I'm adding the bottom lashes. This is the crucial step. Adding a little bronzer and then some blush. I kind of miss trick-or-treating. Does anybody else? I feel like you get to relive that part of your life again when you have children. Avi, we need a red lip for Betty Boop. Can someone tell me what <laughs> went wrong there? Okay, I'm letting this concealer dry. Time to do the hair. I just need it slicked in a really tight bun. Okay, let's put this cap on. Oh god. I look crazy. Let's put this wig on. Oh my goodness, you guys. I can't believe I just pulled this together. Honestly, the wig looks fire. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna go put my outfit on and I'll be right back. Outfit's on. Honestly, you guys, I would say that I slayed this outfit. I literally feel like Betty Boop. It's so cute. This is the full fit. Get ready with me to go to an event with Fendi. Okay, I'm gonna start with these pants. These are super cool. Cute. I think I'm just gonna do the white tank with them and then put the trench coat on top. Look at how gorgeous this coat is. It's like insane. Oh my god, this is so cute. Now that it's on, I think the pants are just a little too long with it. Switch to a tighter pant. These pants, I think, are perfect, and they're going to show the shoes a lot better, too. I'm going to do these cute little Fendi heels. Okay, this is so cute. Look at the little heels with it. And they sent me some jewelry. Look at this gorgeous bracelet. I'm going to wear this. I think I'm going to do no earring. Okay, you guys, I just went and did my glam. Very natural, glowy. Here's my purse. I have this in black. It is so cute. They let me borrow the white one. I'm obsessed with it. Here is the final outfit. What do you guys think? Chic. I love it with the hair. We're ready to go. Love you. Get ready with us for dinner in New York City. Okay, we're getting ready to do our base and we're going to make this a little Q&A. Okay, mom, what foundation are you wearing today? Ilya True Skin Serum Foundation. Next question, what do you do for your job? I own a personal training fitness business and I specialize in senior fitness. What do you think of my career? I think it's very creative, entrepreneurial, and I think it's a you're an amazing success and you work so hard. I think it's perfect for your personality. Aw, that's so nice. Well, it's the truth. Thanks. And what do you like doing besides working out? I love playing the piano. Now, what is your favorite type of food? Seafood. Ooh. How many siblings do you have? I have one brother who's younger than me and lives in California. What is your favorite makeup product that you can't live without? Mascara. Curl, curl, curl. 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 Snowboarding or skiing? Definitely snowboarding. Me too. Where's your favorite place you ever lived? I would have to say Hong Kong. So cool. Mm. What's your favorite place you ever traveled to? Kathmandu. Where's that? In Nepal. Okay, if I wasn't named Meredith, what was my name going to be? 
Holly, because you were supposed to be born around Christmas. And I was a month late. Winter or summer? Summer. I love summer. What's your horoscope? Aquarius. Me too. Like you. All right, you guys. We're, we're ready, ready for, for dinner. dinner. Love, love you, you guys. guys. Get ready with me to go to a Max Mara dinner in New York City. I just got my hair done, so hopefully these clips don't ruin it. You guys know I'm in my soft girl era, so I'm going to create a look that's easy to recreate, soft and glowy. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I use this every single day of my life. My skin has been breaking out like crazy. I don't know what it is. I'm so excited. Next weekend, I'm going to Las Vegas for F1. I've never been to Vegas before, so I'm really excited. If you guys have any must-go places in Vegas, please let me know. Then the first week of December, I'm going to be going to London. I love love London you guys especially during December it's gonna be so Christmassy I was thinking possibly Lapland which I think is in Finland but then I'm like maybe I want to do the Bahamas I don't know you guys let me know if you have any suggestions the wing just elevated this look so much Natasha Denona lip liner we're ready for dinner get ready with me to go clubbing in New York City that was the biggest nose scrunchie I've done in a long time now I hear you guys you're missing the full glam so let's do a full glam look but I want this skin to be skinny, okay? I want my skin to feel glowy. My foundation was created because I wanted to cover every single freckle on my face, but I don't feel the need to do that anymore. I love my freckles now. I've been having so much fun in my soft girl era, but I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous. People don't really like change. When people start seeing you branch out from what you're known for, sometimes you don't always get the same support. It's unfortunate. The hard truth, people are never really gonna be satisfied with what you're doing. Wear less foundation. Be more natural. What happened to the foundation technique? These looks are now boring. I'm sorry, but who are we trying to please here? Isn't this your life you're living? Don't allow people to put you in a box and make you feel like that's the only thing you can do for the rest of your life. We all change, we grow, and we evolve. And you shouldn't be scared of that. I love you guys, and I thank every single supporter that has stayed with me throughout my entire journey. Adding a little fluttery lash. And what is a Meredith Duxbury look without her Morphe gloss? Now let's go change our outfit so I can really show you the full glam. Okay, you guys, we're back with the final look. This jacket is Saint Laurent. It is my favorite jacket to this day. But yeah, here's the final glam. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Get ready with me to go to an event hosted by one of the biggest supermodels in the world. Any guesses? Sydney Crawford and her daughter Kai Gerber will also be there. I'm so excited. I'm going to Vegas for F1 tomorrow, but I need to be in the car at 4 a.m. And I'm only like halfway done through packing. We'll be pulling an all-nighter, you guys. Hopefully my hair still looks like this when I'm on my way to the airport in the morning. I had no clue that this event tonight was like a whole red carpet situation. The event tonight is with Omega and they actually gave me a pretty cool watch to borrow. So, oh my God, look at this Armani blush. This is the watch. Look at how gorgeous this is with the diamonds. I need to bring a little glow back to my face. Just did my brows and added a little brown shadow. We're keeping it simple tonight since I'm running behind. Of course, using my Morphe gloss. Okay, this looks so good with the fit. I love it. And I'm off to the event. Love you guys. Get ready with me for my first night in Vegas. I'm excited, but I'm really nervous. How am I gonna drink Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday? I also get crippling anxiety if I drink too many days in a row. We're staying at the Wynn and we literally can see the sphere from our hotel room. So I'm here for F1 and the race is literally at like midnight on Saturday night, which is kind of cray. Way to see the outfit tonight. It is such a sleigh. Let's lay the house down. Curious to see who wins the race since it's a track that no one's done before. But tonight I have a Patron dinner that I'm getting ready for. And we're gonna see Marshmallow at the Clare. Please pray for me tomorrow morning. I feel like I'm doing a full beat tonight and I really wasn't expecting to do that. I just did that brow in 30 seconds. The eyes are insane right now. Girl, girl, girl. I'm gonna do a liner. Show it to re iconic nude lip liner. Your girl is ready to party. Get ready with me for day three in Vegas. Honestly, you guys, the past two days, we haven't gone out at all. So we're so fresh. We're ready to go. We're ready to party. The time change is only three hours, and I'm like acting like a grandma. My agent, who I love so much, is coming to visit me today. So it's time to get this party started. It's the weekend. We're not going to be tired. Oh my God, I wore the cutest outfit last night, you guys. I have to show you. Like, this is such a sleigh. I literally am obsessed with this blush. If you want a snatched face, this is what you need to do. You guys know me and my tender apricot blush. We need to bring the glow back. Mm-hmm. Miss Tilbury, you are just such a genius. Patrick Ta Ethereal Eyes Palette. I can't decide if I want to do mascara. I'm just going to do brunch and shopping. Slay. 
Love you guys. Get ready with me for the F1 race in Las Vegas. The race starts at 10 p.m. It's currently 6 o'clock. I just know Vegas is going to be crazy tonight. We're going to go to Calvin Harris after the race and then also Alesso. I woke up with the worst anxiety this morning, so hopefully tomorrow is better. I really want Leclerc to win. I feel like Max wins every time. Who is everyone rooting for? I want to know. Okay, you guys, time for some blush. Blend, blend, blend. Lots of powder to make it through the night. Gucci blush, tender apricot. Literally my favorite blush in the world. Just slayed the brow. Okay, we're going for Bridget Bardot smoked out eye and the hair is gonna look insane charlotte tilbury iconic nude for the lip okay you guys here's the final look i'm literally obsessed with this hair and the makeup i added a little white liner such a slay we are off to the race love you guys